Hey folks, Nathan here. We are continuing our look here at my favorite deck building games. And previously we looked quite a bit at Ascension and now we had a new release for Ascension for late January, early February of 2017. In keeping with the year one and year two collector's edition versions of the game, we now have Ascension deck building game year three collector's edition, which essentially is designed to collect Rise of Vigil, and then Darkness Unleashed. This was the last of those blocks where they would put out a big set and then later put out a small set with similar connective themes. After this point, it was all just big sets all the time. As with the previous sets as well, this also means that as a collector's edition for year three, it also includes any promo packs or promo cards released within that year, which it turns out are promo packs three and the play deck promo pack as they're called on the AscensionGame.com website in the official Ascension store. So let's take a quick look here. We don't need to go too much in depth. We've already looked at Rise of Vigil and Darkness Unleashed and those promo cards, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just take a look real quick at what is inside this Year 3 Collector's Edition that runs about 100 bucks, though you can find it slightly discounted on places like MiniatureMarket.com and the like. It is a limited edition, though, so if you're going to try to get it, try to get it soon. Now, once again, just like the other year collector's editions, we have a special rule book that is specific to the two sets that are included in here. Interestingly, this one does not suggest a way to necessarily play this as just Rise of Vigil or just Darkness Unleashed. It does really focus on playing with the two together. We then also have a nice box to put all the cards in decorated for this year. This year going for sort of a, a bluish greenish tint here. And then, of course, we have ourselves a foil game board. We have here our six slots for the center row, our honor pool off there to the right, the three always available cards, Mystic, Heavy Infantry, and Cultist up there at the top, then our center deck and Void located there on the left. Again, this is a nice fold-out board. Remember, you do get a game board with any of the big sets, which means you would have gotten one with Rise of Vigil if you had bought these as the original versions, but the small sets like Darkness Unleashed did not have game boards included, so this is one of those times in which we're essentially getting one board to replace one board as opposed to what will presumably be happening with the next collector's editions, where it'd be one board to replace two. Because if they're going to start putting these out again as two sets at a time and we're past the blocks, then it must be two large sets every time from now on. So let's see here, kind of haphazardly laid out here, what is in here? We have, of course, as usual, 70 Deluxe Honor Tokens. That is 35 red for 5 honor each and 35 for 1 honor each. So those little clear ones, those come in a nice little baggie, nice little drawstring bag like we had with the previous two Collector's Editions. Then, of course, we have to have our Always Available cards. Uh, that's just standard. There are 51 included here. One Cultist and 25 each of Mystic and Heavy Inventory. Again, all the cards are foil all with that newer card frame design here. Then we have our starting deck cards, and I've separated out the energy shards. Remember that Rise of Vigil and Darkest Unleashed, that's that block that dealt with the energy shards and the energize keyword. The only time that energizing was part of the ascension process uh, when it comes to changing the game mechanics and whatnot here. So it's six personal starting decks. You would have gotten four with Rise of Vigil and two with Darkness Unleashed. So essentially combining those two together, each of them having eight apprentices, two militia, and there'll be one energy shard as well, similar to these energy shard cards. So if you pick this up here, you got apprentices, then it gets into militia, and then there's our energy shards there in the back. These are all those gray border, though kind of a flashy silver border here, because gray border cards, again, are not meant to be inside your center deck. So all of our always available cards and all of our starting cards all have gray borders, something they instituted a little bit later in the game uh, than in many cases with other games. Then we have two different full sets worth of cards available here. From Rise of Vigil, we're going to have 100 cards exactly. Rise of Vigil is going to be this set here, this larger set. Again, all with those new card designs. Rise of Vigil did have the original card designs at first. Then we have Darkness Unleashed, almost as many, 78 
cards in darkness unleashed there. We then have our energy shards, and they give us 40 of the regular energy shard and 10 of the dark energy shard. And they suggest just play with both sets combined together and just throw all of those into the center deck. They don't go into a lot of detail on a way to separate this out. Okay, how many players versus how many sets versus how many energy shards, as was the case with Rise of Vigil and Darkness Unleashed when they were originally released separately. And then we have our promo cards, and we are given 22 of these. Again, these include the ones from Promo Pack 3, so Lotus Siren, Moonstaff, Raving Prophet, Eye of the Serpent, Mudfin, Angler, Constricting Horror, Shoveltron, 2K13, Tinkering Monk, Big Bad Bunny. And then we get the ones from the Play Deck Pack, which is two Eternal Tormentors, two Temporal Excavators, and an Explosive Swarm, where we have four of the regular and then five of the ones that you sit off to the side that can be brought into the game. Again, originally card set number three, Promo Pack 3, had those early card designs. Now they're all upgraded, not just foil, but to the newer card design. Rise of Vigil, Darkest Unleashed, they never got a second edition that updated the card design. So now instead what we've got is an updated card design in the Year 3 Collector's Edition. Then, of course, because this is when those Transform cards come into play using Energize, we do then have our various transforming cards here in terms of having the gray border ones that just sit off to the side. So if you're playing without card sleeves and they transform, these just swap in for the cards that are already in the center deck. Or you've got your double-sided versions if you want to play with card sleeves. So another solid collector's edition here. Is it a necessary upgrade if you already have Rise of Vigil, Darkness Unleashed, Promo Pack 3, or the Play Deck Promo Pack? No, not really. There's never been a necessary upgrade for Collector's Editions, but if you want those updated card frames, if you want to have the little drawstring bag for your honor tokens, if you want a foil game board, if you want foil cards and so on and so on, this is a good way to get it. And if you never have played with either of these sets, or this is your first time considering owning them, I would highly suggest picking up the Collector's Edition instead, because you do get the extra bonuses, and it's nice to have them all in one place, given that this is a block that's very tightly woven together, thanks to that Energize mechanic. It's probably, of the blocks that we have for Ascension, the most tightly connected. You could argue that the Year 2 Collector's Edition, the ones that were in there, Storm of Souls and Immortal Heroes, are closely connected as well, but this one seems like it's even more necessary to play with these two sets together, ignoring the others. With that, we'll wrap this up. We'll look at more Ascension as more are released.